What's up? Chino from Deftones. Now we are a metal band. It's Chino's Fair had that. black pudding. We, we are we are a complete metal band now because I, I tasted the blood of the unholy swine. <laughs> so we are we are metal now. I didn't grow up listening to Kiss, and this is, this morning I was just like, I went through every Kiss record. Black Diamond, that song is so good. I found a live version of them. I think it was on Rock Palace or something. It's so good. Songs that you know, you know, you know whatever you know, want to do. Um, and I, I, I can't see myself doing it. I, I grew up listening to, to Morrissey. Um, yeah. uh, so singing wise and lyric wise, I mean, like he was a big influence. Um, as a kid, I used, to, I used to like stand in my backyard with the mop and sing, you know, like, like I was throwing a concert and I'd, I'd pretend like I was Morrissey, throwing my shirt off, you know, to, to <laughs> nobody, but. A lot of the, the press wanted us to, you know, obviously they, they put us in the category. And, and our first uh, um, instinct was just to kind of push it away, you know, because uh, to me it was like when they called it new metal for one, I was like, well, it's, if it's new, you're calling it, you're putting the word new in it, it's going to be old, like, you know, in a couple years. And Why the title Orantifer? Um Well, I, I, I was thinking of a, a, of a, it was like, like our music, I picture it as being, uh, you know, very ugly, you know, heavy chords, you know, and I mean, everything's really uh, abrasive. And the music is really, I mean, but at the same time, it's really soothing, you know, a lot of, I think a lot of my melodies and, and a lot of the, the, the vulnerability that I, that, I, that I put myself in when I sing is are extremes. And, um, and just something I was into, I, uh, I, th I think I picture fur as being really glamorous and very beautiful. But around in the inside, it's skin, and, it, and it's so it's somewhat of a, and it's, and it's ugly. So it's somewhat of a metaphor for the music, and just uh, uh, of the way I feel sometimes about people, you know, being really pretty on the on the outside and, and ugly on the inside. One band I just can't listen to is Coldplay. I don't know why. I I, I just like they 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 spring no actually no emotion at all to me. Any of their songs, I hear them, and it's just like. There's this, it's like the most blank sound that, I, that I've heard. And I'm not trying to be an asshole in any way, but it just, I just, I really just like, it does absolutely nothing for me. It's got to be the most boring music in the world. But luckily, you're getting something very good when you buy this the White Pony. It's the best album out right now. Subtle little plug there, very good. No, it's not. It's subtle. <laughs> The first song that I have the fondest memory of hearing as a child was probably Casey and the Sunshine Band. Uh, I want to say it was uh, Shake Your Booty by Casey and the Sunshine Band. Uh, I actually remember being like a toddler, like my, seriously, like maybe three years old, riding in my, my dad's truck, like holding on to the top and standing in the back and like rocking out to that song because Casey and the Sunshine Band is so metal. These days, wave surfing for sure, over crowd surfing, yeah. I get my shoes stolen almost every night from, if I go in the crowd, the, um, the, the kids steal my shoes. So I'm out of shoes, these are my like only pair of shoes and these are like just some old, uh, like things I wear to walk around, you know, in, and not to wear on stage. But how come they steal your shoes? I don't know. It's pretty, I don't know, I mean, I, I I understand maybe they want they want they want to have something to, to keep you know maybe a keepsake but uh my shoes I mean you know what I'm saying this these were this is where we sleep these are our bunks uh, you know curtains closed and open and closed 
basically like, like miniature coffins. We're, we're preparing ourselves for death here. What would 2016 Chino tell 1995 Chino? <laughs> I'd give him a high five. I'd be like, yo, yeah, man. Have fun. I always carry my lunch wherever I go, so I make sure I bring my Star Wars lunch pail. Much love. Thank you. I'll see ya.